Hey everyone, welcome to my channel Steady Junction and in this video we are going to see the part 2 of important questions for final exams of class 9 maths. So uh, guys, uh, if you have not watched part 1 of this video, do watch uh, that first so that uh, you can be uh, you can have a continuity type. So let's uh, see the questions in part 2. Uh, uh, before that, I would like to say again that these questions uh, may or may not come directly. The statement can be little bit molded. But why I am saying that these are important uh, is because I have seen these questions in many sample papers and also in other school papers. So uh, these are the most commonest questions which you should definitely prepare. Okay, so now let's start with the first question. So uh, uh, this is question number 11. So simplify this particular um, thing. So uh, see, I have just given it as an example. So uh, denominator can be definitely changed. It can be a simple one. It can be like this only. So it's just that you have to prepare these kind of questions. These are not in available in your NCRT book. But uh, I hope your teachers might have guided you about this. And I also have made... RD Sharma solutions so uh, you can refer to those solutions and you will be uh, having a uh, strong grab over these kind of questions so prove that figure formed by joining the midpoints of a of consecutive sides of quadrilateral is a parallelogram now this is uh, the same book question very easiest question it is from that chapter so it is generally uh, seen in the exams. Then you have construct a triangle XYZ in which Y is 30 degree, Z is 90 degree and XY plus YZ plus ZX is equal to 11 centimeter. Now this is the example of chapter constructions. So sometimes it comes directly in the exam. So you don't have to leave this question. This is the easiest construction question. It is better and easy than the exercise questions. So do uh, solve. Uh, I mean construct it once before giving the exam moving to the next question this is the theorem which you don't have to leave see this will come definitely come for four marks in your exam definitely uh, it will come so most important most to most to most important question is this one this theorem from chapter circles please don't leave this otherwise you will lose your four marks so uh, by preparing this your four marks would be final right prove that the angle subtended by an arc at the center is double the angle subtended by it at any point on the remaining part of the circle next is show that the bisectors of angles of a parallelogram form a rectangle now another easy question it's also present in ex uh, examples so uh, go through the examples of your chapter quadrilaterals very important examples are present over there so this question is also commonly seen in the question papers next is from chapter area of parallelogram and triangle now a uh, very easy question and very important question it is present in your exercise itself so uh, there it is written p is a point but it has been molded a little instead of p here O is written. Uh, it has two more subparts, but here only you have to prove this much. Uh, so, very important question you can see in the exam. From Hiron's formula, you don't have to leave this question. This question definitely comes in the exam in one way or the other. An umbrella is made by stitching 10 triangular pieces of cloth of 5 different color, each piece measuring 20 cm, 50 cm and again 50 cm. How much cloth of each color is required for one umbrella? Very important question, okay? So don't leave this question. You have from chapter polynomials, it's just an example. Cubic polynomial uh, by factor theorem you have to solve. It's just an example for your practice. But uh, uh, solving cubic uh, these equations uh, will come definitely in the exam. Next is 
द क्वेश्चन विच इज ऑल्सो मोस्टली सीन इन द एग्जाम सो प्लीज डोंट लीव दिस क्वेश्चन द साइड ए बी एंड ए सी ऑफ ट्राइंगल ए बी सी आर प्रोड्यूस टू पॉइंट ई एंड डी रिस्पेक्टिवली इफ बाई सेक्टर्स बी ओ एंड सी ऑफ एंगल सी बी ई एंड एंगल बी सी ओ रिस्पेक्टिव सॉरी बी सी डी रिस्पेक्टिवली मीट एट पॉइंट ओ देन प्रूव दैट एंगल बी ओ सी इज इक्वल टू नाइन्टी डिग्री माइनस हाफ एंगल बी ए सी बाय हाफ सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन डोंट leave this one let's move to the next question now so this question is from your chapter surface area and volume so uh, book question itself now from chapter surface area and volume volume you have to uh, follow your ncert only values will be changed but the questions will be easy this is just an example so you can solve this question let's move to five more questions which are important and most common so show that the diagonals of a parallelogram divided into four triangles of equal area present in the book itself very easy question uh, i think it's from chapter uh, you, uh, that uh, quadrilaterals prove that the quadrilateral formed by the interior Uh, by sectors of any quadrilateral is cyclic from uh, example of chapter circles very important example please do solve this question then again from surface area and volume you have this very important question i guess it's not present in the book or maybe it is present present i'm not sure but it's commonly seen i've seen this question many times in various sample papers three metal cubes of edges 6 cm 8 cm and 10 cm respectively are melted and formed a new single cube find the diagonal of new cube okay so very important then very easy question this might come in one or two marks only surface area of square with radius 7 cm you just have to uh, learn the formulas from surface area and volume and you will be able to solve all the questions next is another important theorem from chapter triangles angles opposite to equal sides of a triangle are equal this might also come like this sides opposite to equal angles of a triangle are equal so prove it state and prove right so uh, this is basically important or other theorems like vertically opposite angles are equal or sum of angles of a triangle is 180 degree might come in the exam or uh, from chapter area of triangle and parallelogram you have that question na uh, that theorem parallelograms on the same base and between same parallels are equal in area or the median of a triangle divides it into two triangles of equal area so these are not mentioned in the video but you have to prepare these questions in priority i i'm not saying that you have to leave other questions you have to prioritize these type of questions because these will generally come in the exam so i i hope you all like the series of the video and i would see you all in the next video with some more important questions bye